What's going on guys? My name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today we're going to be talking about the beautiful pink sauce lady. Why are we talking about her? Well, we got some interesting things that have developed in the last week or so. So I want to tell you guys, if you want to like and subscribe after watching this video, please do. We are working our way towards the PC soundboard to help with the sound and the production. If you want to help, you can donate right here. All right, that's enough talking. Let's get right into this. Even in the valley of the shadow of death, I can take rest because the living God is living in my chest. Every day I wake up feeling blessed. Just a while back, she had made a video August 2nd talking about this right here. He want the spoon. She want the tea. She want the tea. I cannot speak. So when they say you fell off, but the pink sauce just sold 200,000 bottles. So it sounds like everything was good, but something happened on Instagram and they now deleted posts. Shout out to the plainest Jane for having this up for us. Let's watch this now deleted Instagram rant live, as you can say. Here we go. I don't even know how my posts keep getting deleted. But it just keep getting deleted. And these people, they are afraid because they know they stealing. They know what they doing is wrong. Link in bio, y'all. Go see my story. Please share. Tag the tag the news. Tag the shade room. Tag every blog. Tag them. Let them know what's going on. What is going on? What is the story that she's talking about that she wants us to shade, show to the shade room and all of this stuff? Well, let me show you, friends. So she has a GoFundMe up right now, as you can see, and I'm going to read it for you. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Veronica Shaw. I am the founder of the Pink Sauce LLC one of the most viral sauce sensations of 2022. As a young entrepreneur with big dreams, I followed my intuition and went forth towards my dream to create something new. I made a few mistakes on the way, which led me to trust a company that is trying to take everything away from me. They lied to me. They are not paying me and are not being transparent about records. I have tried on multiple occasions to try and come to one accord with them, but they refuse to reimburse me for marketing expenses that I spent my own funds towards. I have been silenced and financially sabotaged. I am a single mom and I do everything for my kids. Right now, I don't even have enough money to buy my kids food on my own. My mom is on disability and has been giving us $20 just to get by on a daily basis. School is a few days away. I haven't been able to get my kids clothes or anything. I am currently facing an eviction that has gone into the default. The sheriffs can come to my door any day now. I need legal help. They are refusing to pay the royalty that is owed to me. I don't know what else to do. I can't give up. I need help. <sighs> so, that's where we are. That's where this whole rant is coming from. <laughs> now, I wonder, in the very beginning of all of this, right? Y'all remember the interview that had happened, right? The interview where she was talking about, hey, you could have helped me, you could have helped me there. Let's, let's watch that. Shout out to the Cosmos astronaut for providing this video. Kept it to myself, which I did. No, you could have reached out to me like, hey, girl, you know what? I see what you're doing. It's amazing and all. I'm a supporter, but I think you should look into this. Take this step. Did you research this? Did you check out your packaging there versus trying to tear down my business and my livelihood? And my livelihood. And my livelihood. So now some people may say, well, this is a white girl. Whatever you want to say, that's probably why she didn't listen. So 
if it had been a black woman, I'm sure she would have listened, right? Mm, not so. Not so. But before we get there, before we get there, let's hear a little bit more of that rant. Once again, shout out to the planet's Jane. Go subscribe. She does great stuff over there and provides great stories. I don't know what happened to all the money. I just know that the money is being made. The money is being made. The money is coming through. Like, look at the marketing. Like, look at look at the things that are going on. Like, come on. Like, if I was running this, like, everything would be so pristine, so amazing. This is supposed to be the Beyonce of the sauces. Not Whitney Houston on crack. Like, come on, y'all. Like, that's not even how I roll. Mm, if you were running things, thing would be pristine. Great. Do y'all remember when she first started selling this pink sauce? Didn't y'all remember it came in the mail? <laughs> came in the mail in the summer. She's in, in Florida, baby. <laughs> Close to Miami, baby. That's that Florida heat. Got this pink sauce. This thing came it blown up. <laughs> Molding because of the heat. Mm-hmm. But some real issues is why that whole interview happened in the first place. So if you were running things, it'd be prestige, right? There'd be no problem. Mm. But here we are today. We got your pink sauce on the shelves. And I remember you making a video getting it off the shelves. But if you were doing everything, it'd be prestige. Right. Didn't you have trouble remembering what the FDA was? In fact, you thought the FD FDA was for medicine. The F in FDA stands for food. But if you were running things, it would have been prestige. Right, 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 right. Just making sure I got all my facts together. That's all. This right. And so they think that, oh, I was just going to deal with that and be here suffering in silence. I deal with mental health issues. This shit could go zero to a hundred real quick. Not only that, my mental health, everything is fucking deteriorating. The Pink Sauce website is not even fucking up yet. I don't have an attorney. That's why I put the Go GoFundMe post up there. Ah. Because I need an attorney. Mm. I need an attorney. Mm -hmm. I need help. I need people to support me. These people literally took my idea and they just taking the money from it and not putting forth anything. All those sales being made through the month are because of me. Because of you. All oh, this is happening. All right. Not, not nothing to do with their money. Nothing to do with them putting this stuff in there. And I know what you're saying, Trey. Trey, why are you siding with the corporate people? Why are you siding with the man? Because the beautiful thing about life is sometimes you get screwed. Right? And I know I'm being humorous about this, but I'm being honest now. Oh, I've been honest before, but let me bring it down a notch. It does suck what's happening to you, but I don't know the story because I haven't heard it from the other side. And if it does, this does go to court, it's going to get expensive. I'm assuming that these people had enough money to get 200,000 bottles out. They're going to have enough money to pay for lawyers. When you first got with these people, it sounded like you were in love. But it sounded like what happened is you signed over that money of yours and your royalties. And now they took all that money. I don't know how well Pink Sauce is selling. I see it all the time in the stores. But I don't see a lot of people buying them. But that's probably because they don't know about your TikTok. As much as people think that being famous on TikTok means the whole world knows you. I don't know anybody who knows who she is, right? Because TikTok famous is a lot different than the real world famous. So I'm not saying that uh, she had to be successful because I ain't got nothing in the store. You probably don't have anything in the store. So she did succeed in that way. She pushed it, had a lot of failures. But the thing that sucks at the end of the day is sometimes if what you're saying is true, you get screwed, right? But this is why you don't flaunt that money. This is why you don't keep putting on there talking about how haters want me to fall off and all this kind of stuff. Because what you don't understand sometimes, right, is when you do need the help and it's time for that money to be shelled out, a hundred racks, right, a hundred thousand dollars. 
all those people you were calling haters, all those people you were flaunting that money on, doing all your little famous stuff, they gone. They're this dang sure not gonna support you. And all the people who was loving you in the TikTok algorithm and they were commenting on you, they gone. TikTok fame is not the same thing as TikTok support. Please understand that. Those are two different worlds. They took advantage of your fame and did something with it. But understand, TikTok fame and even YouTube fame, we know, we saw this with Sweetie. When you have this TikTok life or you have this Instagram fame, it does not convert straight over to people who actually want to support you. Let's not get it twisted. I'm sorry this is happening to you and I don't know the full story, but based off what I'm hearing, sign a bad deal and now you're, you're, you're under, right? But also I want to say this, you had all this money, all this money, all this stuff you were showing on your TikTok and you don't have any money to even put food on the table. You got to get $20 from your disabled mother. And this is why people, when you get a ton of money and I have made the same mistake, I've gotten evicted. I've lost vehicles. I've lost homes. When you get a lot of money, you've got to learn to sit back, invest, and stay low key. It's been one year since all of this fame started to happen, and you're already bankrupt and about to be evicted, according to yourself. Just something to keep in mind. Let's continue. Actually, before we continue, something just uh, crossed my mind. Y'all remember when I had said earlier that she could have gotten help, but she didn't want to get it from a white woman. Oh, uh, well, let's see. Would she have done it for a black person? Pink Book Lessons explains. Please go check out Pink Book Lessons. She's always a great commentary channel. Always doing stuff, mainly on uh, black, black news, black culture. So if you want to go check her out, she is great. Hey, she is the founder of The Pink Sauce, which you lady and her appearance on that talk show. But the pink sauce lady didn't want her help. This is Chef Pete. She is the founder of The Pink Sauce, which went viral on TikTok about a year or so ago. Now, after this virality, she wanted to get in the grocery store. She caught some flack because they found out before she went into stores that she was manufacturing this in her house and it had ingredients in it that could have made people sick. I was new to Tech Talk and I wanted to use my account to educate people on food business and food safety, specifically sauce. When I saw her and her manufacturing, which was basically in her living room, I said, hey sis, you know what? This is what you need to do. Let me help you while you're still, you know, I know you're going viral, but let me help you with your foundation so you don't run into disaster. Cut to Dave's Gourmet. Dave's Gourmet, who she's talking about now, owes her royalties because she gave up a percentage of her profit margin and it looks like uh, control of her money to Dave's Gourmet because she said it wasn't Walmart. So there's only other one person involved. And then we'll just say allegedly. Okay. Uh, now she doesn't have control over this money and she's trying to feed her children and keep everything together. So how you tell the white lady she shouldn't have made a review, instead you wanted her to hold your hand and help you out. But then we find out a black woman with experience, an 80 year family recipe, she actually did what you tried to shame the white woman for not doing, but you ignored the black lady. And mm, 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 mm. Mistake after mistake after mistake. That viral TikTok baby, those viral TikToks make people do crazy things. Right, I think there was just a great, great, great quote. If you want to know who a person really is, give them power. That's not verbatim. But think about that quote. If you really want to know who a person truly is, give them power. Oh, that'll expose everything. She had power. She had millions of people on TikTok. All these things going in. Give somebody power. You find out who they really are. Right? That includes me. That includes you, possibly. I don't know. You could be the greatest person. I don't know. I don't know. Give me power. Let's see what happens. Maybe I created black sauce. What kind of chain sauce? Let's go back to this rant. I ain't talking about Kevin. That went over your head. No. 
You know what? Let me block you. The fuck? How about that? Don't fucking play with me on my fucking live. Why the fuck I'm frustrated and I'm going through all kind of shit. Fucking evictions and motherfuckers don't want to fucking pay me my money. Nah, and then the thing is, what's so they playing themselves? Like, it ain't even been a year yet. How y'all start acting like gremlins and it ain't even been a year yet? It ain't even been a year yet, Chef P. Why you acting like a gremlin on that TikTok? Huh? Why you acting like a gremlin? Marketing? She was acting like this before all of this, people. Go watch the TikToks. It ain't even been a year yet. And y'all acting like gremlins? I'm just to say. Let's move forward a little bit here. I'm a millionaire. They just ain't give me the money yet. That's all. Mm, y'all didn't catch that. Right. Like what? That don't even make sense. That don't make sense. So this is the way I look at it. Shit. I am a millionaire. I am a millionaire. They just ain't give me the money yet. That's all. Mmm, poor decision to say something like that. And don't think I don't notice the people in the background <laughs> and they're probably just like, what the what is she doing? What is she talking about? This girl comes to come use the computer for free. What is she talking about, millionaire? Anyway, <laughs> I'm just messing around because I've done that. I've had to go to the library and use the computer for free, baby. Oh, trust me. Uh, let me say this, man. I understand manifestations. I understand the secret. I understand vision boards. I get all that. I'm not saying don't have goals. But one thing you don't want to do is when you are in a state of in poverty at this point, she is living in a state where you don't have a lot of funds. You're going into bankruptcy. Don't fool yourself into saying I'm a millionaire because the more you do this kind of stuff, the more you try to manifest something that's not there. It's one thing to say one day I hope to be a millionaire. That's fine. But you got people today who will be like, I am successful. I am a king. I am a queen. I am this. No, you are not. You're not a millionaire. You can't put food on your kid's plate right now, according to yourself. I'm not... I'm not paying for your downfall. Excuse me. I'm not paying for your downfall. But what I am saying is it is dangerous to talk in this kind of way when you are asking for money. You're asking for funds from people. Do not then go on to say, I'm a millionaire. Well, then people will be like, well, they're going to get the money. I'm just letting you know how average people, us average people down here at the bottom, I'll let you know how we think sometimes. We, we hear people say, oh, I'm a millionaire. Just ain't got the money yet. Okay, well, go get the money then. Because you got to understand, a lot of people live in paycheck to paycheck. $100,000, how many supporters would you have to have to give you $100,000? Imagine everybody who donated to you gave you $1,000. How many people would have to donate to you? 10, 100 people, 1,000 people. Think about that. The fact that you only have $961 goes to show you once again, TikTok fame is not the same thing as having TikTok supporters. It's not the same. TikTok is a whole completely different monster. Okay. You haven't built natural fame because what you did was come up with a pink sauce. And then once the pink sauce did well, you threw it back in our faces when we came out and did support you and buy this sauce. I believe I saw you on that TikTok. Talk about hey, when they want me to fall off. When I this, when I that. Right. And now the time has come and you need one hundred thousand dollars from us. We were already supporting you. You said two hundred thousand bottles have been sold. That's what you said on that TikTok. That's two hundred thousand people that wanted to support you, according to you. And that money is nowhere to be seen. We thought you had the money. Right. Maybe you were too embarrassed to come out. I'm sure you, even in this. Y'all go watch this whole thing. She does say she's embarrassed. It is embarrassing. For all this to happen. Right? Uh, but we did go out and support you. But to ask people to also do it again. Right? And do do it again. Give you another $100,000 or however much money. And I did the calculations. If every bottle she sold, she got the money back. Walmart took their hundred grand, their 8%, whatever they get for that, putting it in the store. You sell every bottle a million dollars somewhere in there. Don't know how much it costs to produce these bottles. So I wasn't able to subtract that. 
but let's just say it was five hundred thousand dollars you could have got from all that. You didn't get a cent. I oh, it, it just to me would have made more sense for you to have come out earlier and said, "Hey guys, I'm not really making money like that. Just letting you know, I haven't, you know, I'm trying, but I'm not seeing a lot of it." But instead, you kept going on with the TikTok stuff. It's, it's sad, man. It's really sad. Let's watch one more part here, guys. Actually, a couple more parts. I know. And the thing is, what's so sad about it is, like, like y'all have to understand, when all of that happened, I was going, I was freaking mentally fucked up. Okay, I had people accusing me of freaking murder and all kind of stuff because I created something new, something that made a whole evolution this year. Like y'all don't think I was depressed seeing all the Barbie stuff and I couldn't keep up because these people won't pay me my money? Don't you think that hurt me? Like I just been sitting here, I've been quiet because what else can I do? Honestly, I've been scared. I've been threatened. Shit, somebody broke into my house. Like, all kind of shit, just weird ass shit just been going on. Let me show y'all one more part here. And of course, let me go ahead and get that part. Been deleting my post. <laughs> DJ, y'all can see because I've been on live. Y'all been on live with me, right? They done deleted my post like five times. Like, I'm about to cry, bro. Because these people are fucking cons. They are afraid. They're scared. They're scared because they know I'm that bitch and I'm fearless. That's why they scared. They scared, scared of what, Jeff P? You got nine hundred and sixty-one dollars right now, and you need a hundred racks in order for you to even fight these people. Because I'm sure their pockets are deep. If they weren't so deep, they would have no way they could have even helped you in the first place. I'm not here to say these people are crooked. I'm not here to say they take advantage of your fame. I have no idea. Has it happened in the past? Of course it has. This reminds me a lot of when TLC was going through something like this. If y'all remember, TLC didn't get paid any money in the beginning. Even the Temptation did the same thing. Right? There are record labels who do this to artists all the time, screw them completely over. And sometimes the artist is the one who screwed up. I don't know who it is this time. Don't know if it was the record label or the artist in this situation. We will find out one way or another. But let this be a lesson. Hmm? One thing I want you guys to understand, and I do hope if she's in the right, that she gets all the money she deserves. If she did not do anything wrong, I hope she gets every penny for this sauce. But the lesson we must learn here is that TikTok fame and TikTok support are not the same. When you get this fame, and some of you guys will get TikTok fame, some of you guys will get YouTube fame. Some of you guys will get X fame. And some of you guys will get Instagram fame. I wish you the best. But understand. If you are going viral for a moment. All those people you believe. All those people you think are really on your side. All these people that say they love you. You. It is not what you think it is. Never. When we talk about parasocial relationships. We know they talk about it coming from people coming to the content creators. Understand, you got to do the same thing. Don't believe these people really care about you. Don't you dare believe it, right? Because they don't. A lot of these people don't care. And it's not that necessarily everybody doesn't want to give you money. Some people do want you to fail. And some people just ain't got the money, right? They went out and bought your sauce because it was part of the grocery list. Or maybe they wanted to make their own video on TikTok and become viral themselves. I don't know. I wish you the best, Chef P. I really do wish you the best. But please, if you ever get this moment back, don't get back on that TikTok and start flaunting. Don't get on that TikTok talking about, oh, they praying for my downfall. Guys. Guys. Who cares? Some people do pray for your downfall, but you don't have to... Always be looking for the haters. Always be looking for somebody who hates you. Take what you have. This life is so much more than spending the every single day talking about haters. 
every single day talking about how you made it. It can all be gone in a flash. Very few people in this world have enough money to where if a certain income is taken, they'll be fine. Very few people are multi-millionaires, especially billionaires. Vast majority of us, if we do, if we were to lose our job, lose our YouTube channel, lose our ex member uh, membership ad revenue, we'd be broke because we don't have enough money saved up that's going to last us the next two or three years to where we can get back on our feet. Just like you, as soon as that money, that TikTok money, however much money you made off of TikTok before the pink sauce and with the pink sauce, gone in a flash. The second people don't support you, it can all be gone quickly, guys. Let me know what y'all think about the pink sauce lady. Do y'all think she got what she deserved? Or y'all wishing the best for her? Shout out to the Plainish Jane. Shout out to Cosmo Astronaut. And shout out to Pink Book Lessons. I will put all their videos down in the description so you can go watch their full videos if you would like. And see what they have to say about all this. I'm gone.